So, ladies and gentlemen, when wanting creating the unit circle, right? I told you guys to first remember the first kind of quadrant, and that was, uh, and actually, I even that's what I kind of gave you guys to go by the unit circle. So the first thing when I'm kind of creating the unit circle, there's we went over everything that is needed on the unit circle, right? The first point you guys should remember is we all have a radius of one. So the first thing that I always like to do when I'm doing the unit circle is I want to create everything for me as easy as if I do the coordinate points. So this one would be one comma zero, zero comma one, negative one comma zero, and zero comma negative one. The next thing I always like to do is just do the degrees, right? Because degrees is what we learned, learned first when we were talking about angles. So I know if I don't go anywhere, I got zero degrees. Halfway around is going to be 90 degrees. All, oh, I'm sorry, quarter of the way around be 90 degrees. That would be 180. There we go. Then we have 270 degrees. And then all the way around, which would be 360 degrees. All right? Not too bad. Then the next thing we learned about, or we talked about, was halfway around, remember, was what we called pi. So half of that would be pi, over four, pi halves. Here, it's going to be 3 pi over 2. And then all the way around, we'll call 2 pi. Right? Because here to here is pi, then all around is going to be 2 pi. So the next thing I like to do is I like to do, so we have all these points going through. The next thing I like to do is figure out my angles for half of that. So I cut each one of my quadrants into fourths. Because remember that, remember when we did our special triangles, that was like the next angle that we worked on, was like the pi over four. So we could say from here to here is one half, then from here to here is pi fourths. Now, all you're gonna do to get the rest of those angles is keep on adding pi fourths. Pi fourths, two pi fourths, which is one half. So then this one is going to be 3 pi over 4. This one would be 4 pi over 4. Here we have 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and 8 pi over 4, which is equivalent to 2 pi. Now let's go back to the degrees. If here's 90 degrees, then that means this degree is 45 degrees, right? So now all we're going to do is just keep on adding 45 degrees. So 45, 90, 135, 180. Um, 225, 270, 315, and 360. So you just keep on adding 15, or keep on adding 45 degrees. Now remember though, when we created the unit circle, there was two other angles. We had this angle, and we had this angle. Now before I get to the coordinate points, we let's go and see if we can figure out what these angles are. All right, and the easiest way I like to do them, ladies and gentlemen, is remember the next triangle we talked about was the first triangle we talked about was a 45-45, right? The next triangle we talked about was a 30-60-90. So that means that this first angle is 30 degrees, and then this one is going to be 60 degrees. So really, if you guys want to figure out the rest of them, what you notice is if you go 30, then all you got to do is if you just keep on adding in increments of 30. So you do 30 plus another 30-60 plus another 30 is 90 plus another 30 is 120, plus another 30 is 150, plus another 30 is 180, another 30 is 210, plus another 30 is 240, plus another 30 is 270, plus another 30 is 300, 330, and 360. That's how you just do the, um, that's how we do the degrees and then what is, the, what is 30 degrees equivalent to? Remember, this angle was equivalent to pi over 6. So just like when we did the 30 degrees, now we're just going to keep on adding pi over 6. So here's pi over 6. Adding another pi over 6 is 2 pi over 6, which reduces down to pi over 3. Add another pi over thirds, 3 pi over 6, which is pi halves, which we already have. Add another one. Um, Add another one, that's for that point. So we have uh, 3 pi over 6. Here is 4 pi over 6, which is going to be 2, 2 pi over 3. And then add another pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 6. And then 6 pi over 6. This point is now going to be 7 pi over 6. 
And then this one's going to be 8 pi over 6, which would be um, 8 pi over 6 would be 4 thirds. 4 pi over 6. And then you have 9 pi over 6, which reduces down to 3 halves. Then you have um, 9 pi over 6. So then this one is going to be 10 pi over 6, which is 5 thirds. And then you have 11 pi over 6. All right? Now the last thing, ladies and gentlemen, is just to go through your coordinate points. Because remember, each one of these points is a coordinate point on the graph. Right? So when we wrote these out, if you guys remember, each one of these was a coordinate point, and they are all fractions, right? So I had to draw a fraction bar real quick. They all were fractions. Right? Now let's even go through the negative signs. We know that in the second quadrant, my x value is always going to be negative. In the fourth quadrant, my x and my y value are going to be negative. So I'll put negative signs here. In the fourth, I'm oh, sorry, third quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, my y value is always going to be negative. And in the first quadrant, my angles are always going to be positive. The next thing we remember is all the numbers have a denominator of 2. So you just put a denominator of 2 for every single fraction. Okay. Now, the last step we do, if you guys remember, we can quickly just add up. Remember, it was the square root of 1, which is 1, square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of, square root of 1, which is 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Now we're just going to kind of continue that pattern over here. So it's square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. I'm sorry. Um, wrong one. Here we go square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root, square root of 2, square root of 3. And obviously you can see these are all going to be negative. Then here, again, you just do square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. And there you go. You've now just constructed the unit circle.